Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And today I'm adding another video to my 3D print playlist on the channel uh, because I wound up with a problem with the anchor make that I have in the shop next door. And this is the problem that I wound up with. And I really wanted to print this statue in marble. I was doing a test print to see how all the details would, uh, were coming out. And I was about to stop this until all of this started happening and the re I figured out the reason why it's happening is not the printer but it's the fact that the shop next door doesn't have the same you know humidity levels that I've got in here because of all of the sheetrock insulation and so on uh, there are some uh, cracks to the outside like the roll-up door things like that uh, where next door is just ins insulation and it has a hard time keeping up the humidity and what you don't see in here uh, in the front of the office here I've got a table with my printer and my 3d printer on it and right next to that I run that filament through a dryer from Comgrow that I got about a year and a half ago so um, I went online and I was starting to look for a filament dryer but I needed a specific type because I want to put the dryer on the top shelf in the shop next door and have the filament run down to the printer through an extended Bowden tool, tube and so that it's a continuous feed right to the hot end and the film I don't wind up with things like this uh, and this is important I guess for any environment because of the changes in in the humidity you want to keep your filament as dry as possible I even have it in little vacuum bags with a little pump suction thing that you suck all the air out of and uh, put the little packet in there to make sure that it stays dry uh, but I don't have to worry about that on the bamboo labs and I could run this on the bamboo labs but I want to be able to run that printer regularly next door so that's what today's video is and just so happened that while I'm shopping for a filament dryer this company here what you see behind me here fix dry sent me or sent me an email and said we'd like to send you our dryer for you to test out and I looked at it and it's got the uh, holes in the bottom which is exactly what I need and I said yes I absolutely want to test that out uh, so they sent me that dryer and they also sent me a tricolor filament so that's what we're gonna do today uh, I'm gonna reprint this I'm gonna install that dryer and I'm gonna reprint this and make sure that this doesn't happen anymore so let's jump over next door into the laser lab and let's get started and hook this thing up and run this print and see what happens all right so this is what i've got this is the dryer right here uh, it's the model nt1 it is a dual filament dryer or you can use one single two kilogram roll which i never use but the reason that i wanted this is because of this these holes right here in the bottom of the unit so that it will feed down from the shelf above into the uh, printer and i picked up this uh, bowden tube which is extra long it's a couple feet i think it's a uh, one meter or something like that i'm going to replace the bowden tube that is in the 3d printer which is just plug and play uh, just take a couple of seconds i'm going to take a look and see what we've got here in the box and it should all be just one piece. Here is the cover, and these are the holes that I was talking about right here. So when I put this cover on, now I'll have holes in the very bottom part right here that'll feed the filament down from the shelf and once I get this uh, uh, set up you'll see what I'm talking about let me just make sure there's the heating element the only thing that I would like to see oh maybe it does have it right here a diverter for the heat so it doesn't go directly on the filament and I didn't I didn't look at the, <laughs> at the owner's manual yet which I probably should do you should always do that when you get something new. It has a really short Bowden tube that I'm not going to be able to use. And look at that. This is 
exactly what I was going to say that I, that this thing is lacking and it's not. So it does have this little piece that fits in these holes. It doesn't snap in or anything, but that diverts the heat up and around. And that, that is what you're looking for in a filament dryer. So it's got nice, nice rollers inside here. And you can see, you can put one roll of filament in here like that. Or, and this looks like this is going to work well with the cardboard rolls as well. Shouldn't be a problem at all. You can put one roll like this of, of the one kilogram, or you can put a big roll of the two kilogram on there. So let's switch over to the other camera and let's take a look at the setup, how I'm going to be setting this up. So there is the Anchor Make 3D printer. I've got to uh, put this on the top shelf and run the tube down into the printer itself. So all I'm going to do is take the new Bowden tube and I'm going to install it into the printer. And the microphone doesn't reach over there, so <laughs> you won't hear me if I'm talking over there. This is the original tube that came on the printer. So that was a pretty easy install. <laughs> now all I have to do is plug that into the case itself and install some filament. And I will do that offline and then I'll be right back with this setup on the shelf for you to see. I'm sure you don't want to see all of that. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I've turned the microphone up a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me well. <laughs> so now I've got this set up way up at the top there. You can see it up there. Don't pay attention to the 52% humidity because that's coming down. That's because the humidity was actually about 80% when it started a few minutes ago. It'll take a while for that to equalize. I do not have the heater on at this time because I just opened the filament, the tricolor filament. So uh, I know that that's going to have a pretty low moisture level. But as you can see, all I did was plug in the new white Bowden tube. To the filament dryer and I ran that down and plugged it into the uh, print head and that's all there is to it ran some filament through and I'm ready to run my first print and I'm going to run that statue print now with the tricolor filament I will switch over to a time-lapse and show you how I got that done and how this thing actually turned out okay so it is now the next day and I noticed something when I started the print that I think is a problem with the model and that is the bottom is not flat so it starts off stringing and then recovers from it but I really wanted the the model to be flat so this is the fault of the model so I scrapped that one I stopped the job right in the beginning when I saw that one side was higher than the other and I decided just to go with the little ghost. <laughs> I guess, you know, better time. Uh, it did a good job. I didn't have any problems with it. Right here you can see the band where I stopped the job because, well, I started recording this last night. It's now the next day. And, uh, <laughs> well, you know, I, I just didn't want to stay up that late. So I paused the job and uh, that's that band right there where you can see where I paused it and then restarted it this morning. I don't know about this filament though. I mean the filament did a great job printing. Really came out, it came out nice. But the color changes as you go around, as you view it from different angles it changes and I thought it was more of a gradual tri tricolor. I don't know if I, how much I like it or not, but uh, did print perfectly if you look at the the way this thing printed so nice filament without a doubt did a good job uh, that's my little ghost it's a tea light so you put it on top of a tea light a little Halloween ghost you can get these online for for free and um, I got this from printables printables.com so all in all good job the dryer came down naturally to 24% uh, 
humidity without having to turn the heater on and I haven't read the instructions yet probably something I should have done right away right off the bat and I usually do I always read all of the owner's manual before I start anything but I wanted to get this video done because I've got a couple more in the making so uh, the next one is that laser pecker 4 down there on the ground that I need to get to and I've fallen so far behind that uh, I wanted to get this done so now I'll go back and uh, while the, a video is processing or something else I'll read that owner's manual and I'll go through it and make sure I've got all of the settings uh, proper on there but it is at a good humidity and a good temperature right now just the way it is I put a big pack of desiccant inside of it to maintain that humidity and um, hopefully it's going to work really well so far I'm going to give this two thumbs up it's exactly what I needed I couldn't use the ComGrow one because the uh, filament came out the top on that one it's perfect for my Viper you know it works perfectly for my Viper but um, for the other printer having it above it you know I needed to have those holes on the bottom and this uh, dryer fit the bill so if you're interested in getting one they did not pay me for this to do this video they asked for my opinion on this and if I would do a review video so uh, even though I wasn't paid they did send me that product for free along with the filament and if I were to buy one if I bought this one I would be very happy with it I love the the uh, big screen the the touch buttons work perfectly and now I'm going to go read the manual and <laughs> make sure I've got everything set just perfectly for that other shop so I never have a problem with this again so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video today as much as I enjoyed making it for you and oh as always I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.